Hi everyone. Uh, well, it looks like that this is uh, the first uh, aquarium of sea monkeys that I started on uh, July 7th. And I think this is as good as it gets. Uh, as you can see, you can see a last bubbles coming from the uh, algae in the walls and in the bottom. Uh, uh, oops, I got, no, I got it right. Uh, you see the magnifier uh, circles, but they are at the other side. Uh, actually, this is the the side that I have been cleaning. And as you can see, I have left algae on the sides. You have to see that the older sea monkeys have grown. And using the fan that right now is off, uh, so I can talk without problems. Uh, but essentially, this is what I was expecting. Uh, to get all green in the bottom, bubbles coming up. And so that confirms that this LED uh, plant grow lamp what does it works because the algae did work uh, did grow excuse me and uh, you can see the bubbles coming up sadly in these other two these other two aqua dragon have not been that successful so some reason and I have seen videos of aqua dragons and often you will see uh, this tint of, of water. Yes, uh, it's, it's still cloudy because I was trying different things and I made the water more murky. Uh, as you can see, there is that uh, little thing with a lot of algae on top of it. I tried to scrape it off to see it start growing here but it's not ready to be scraped off. Uh, I had a, another uh, old spoon that had like older. It was very dark algae and it scraped off very easily from that I did in this aquarium. The, the strange thing is, is the same brand as the blue one, but still it has the same uh, ton of water I'm not as bad but still murky uh, so still dealing with that I was able to scrape from one of the uh, spoons that had a lot of algae I was able to scrape I have a, another that I'm waiting for the as you can see the algae is growing on top of it I'm hoping that it grows like uh, the others get a lot dark and then I scrape it off and hopefully I will be able to grow the algae also in this aquarium. I would love for the uh, aqua dragons uh, to to get uh, algae like uh, the sea monkeys aquariums but <sighs> still working on that but at least I can say that most of the things that I needed are here you see different uh, uh, sea monkeys of different size. Uh, this is the next generation. They are thriving. You see the older one, although uh, I recall a warning on the aqua dragons that uh, a drastic, drastic drop on temperature could harm them. Uh, here I had like a temperature 76 and we got a very good cold night and it dropped in my apartment, I think at 73 or 72, and all of a sudden, a bunch of the old sea monkeys died. Uh, so it looks like as they get older, they get more susceptible, but using the fan, as I showed in my previous uh, videos, it have broken the water surface and it creates some circulation and looks like at last that has stabilized because I never had uh, this so many uh, next generation uh, sea monkeys so that's uh, doing it did work now I would be happy if before the rear winter gets here I get the algae here and I get the algae here although as you can see 
at least have been successful in having a next generation of sea monkeys also. So we will continue working on that. And yes, I still have the, the gunk aquarium. Uh, as you can see, I found a bunch of uh, old uh, scoop that I had of 20 years ago. I thought that I threw them away. Uh, too much light. Okay, there we go. So what I'm trying to do looks like that the green algae is predominant here because I had one here and it got covered quite quickly. I think it was this guy. It, it had nothing on it and as you can see it has started growing. So I'm hoping that uh, algae start growing in these guys too. And then when they get a lot and very dark, then I will hopefully we'll be able to scrape them here and here and hopefully I will be able to get ooh, lots of bubbles. That is what I wanted. So, uh, then uh, I don't know if that will be enough for them to survive uh, the winter month uh, because I never have been able to do it, but up to now, uh, the, uh, definitely the fact that they are a thriving, growing next generation is make this uh, officially. I have my uh, the answer past the level of of my pet uh, brine shrimps that I had uh, twenty years ago. So let's see if they survive until the spring. Until next time, everyone.